Hi everyone, it's Sarah Ralso from WhenIHaveTime.com and I'm back with another Ask a Geek. This person wrote in asking about ebook royalties and using a publisher versus self-publishing. A small ebook publisher contacted me wanting to contract me for a short 30-page ebook. I could probably hammer something out, but then it got me to thinking because he actually wants me to sign a contract that gives me 8% royalty. If I'm going to go to the trouble to write an ebook, why should I go through a publisher? How much royalty percentage do you make off your ebook on Amazon? So you may not know... I have two books that I published uh, myself through Amazon, and um, I've chosen to do that instead of going with a publisher. So first, let's talk about actually why you'd want to use a publisher um, when doing a book, you know, self-publishing, using a publisher. These are two kind of options. One of the things that you're going to want to look at is if they actually give you some sort of prestige or reputation or credibility. That's a, probably one of the biggest reasons to try and use a traditional publisher or even a small publisher uh, moving forward is that they add something, you know, some sort of credibility to the to the book itself. Another reason to use a publisher is that they can do some of the technical formatting and kind of making sure that your book gets on all platforms. Personally, I think that it's not super difficult. Even now, there's some ways to do some formatting from Word, so it's not super different from actually writing the book. Um, with a little bit of ex you know, a little bit of searching around and a little bit of tutorials, you could probably do a lot of the formatting yourself. So um, while it is a, a cool service that they provide, it's not like it's an iPhone app and something that you know you have to learn programming in order to do. Um, the third thing why I would use a, a publisher is if they're able to do a lot of promotion for you. So a lot of publishers are able to promote, you know, in traditional or non-traditional ways. And maybe they even have a marketplace where they can promote it with alongside other books, or they even have some way of doing distribution as well as moving into print. So that's something if you have an ebook that maybe at some point, you know, it could become a print book. So those are good reasons to choose a publisher. In this case, this person uh, gave me some more information. They're a very small publisher, and so I'm not sure they're going to have any of those things that I talked about other than the formatting. And like I said, you know, you should be able to do that on your own. So um, let's talk about royalties and rights really quick. So one of the things, if you're looking at going with a publisher, you want to know how long they keep those rights for. So, you know, what's the length of time that they're going to have? Is it forever? Um, you know, is it for a period of time? And... Um, Another thing is you're going to see if you have final refusal on something like the the book cover or you know how things you know the final content in the, in the book do you have control over that or not what about revisions how often can you revise is it you know have they even made any provisions for doing revisions um, and then you know one of the things I really like self publishing is that I have access to all my statistics and I can change the um, price of my book at any time. So that's something, as a self-publisher, you, you kind of keep that control, and it's really lo worth looking at. The third thing you asked is, a, is about Amazon royalty. So 8% is not a great deal for Amazon, seeing as how books two ninety nine and under start at 30%. So essentially they're taking a 22% royalty cut um, for uh, probably doing the formatting. I, I'm not sure if they're going to be doing any of those other things we talked about, but... Um, and if that's in per per perpetuity, that's it's not a great deal for you, especially if, if the book somehow is more than two ninety nine, that actually bumps up to seventy percent royalty minus the um, the delivery cost that Amazon charges. Now this is just Amazon, but right now a lot of the other self publishing and ebook retailers have similar structures for for royalty. So. My first instinct is this doesn't sound like a great deal. Um, you could probably do it yourself. It's only 30 pages. It might be a good way to experiment for your first ebook, and and do the writing, then try to format it or, or, or pay somebody. A, a really good option is, is pay someone to do the formatting for you once. That's a flat fee. It's a it's an initial investment, and then you still retain all the rights, all the uh, ability to change price and, and get all the statistics for your own. So... Thanks for writing in, and this is Sarah Rosso with Ask a Geek on whenihavetime.com. Thanks a lot.